This video will demonstrate how to use the RGD Olga Object List Generator and Analyzer tool. The tool can be accessed from the RGD Genome Tools page by clicking the tab or the button on the RGD homepage labeled Genome Tools. On the resulting page, select Olga, Object List Generator and Analyzer to access the tool. The entry page has two sections. The top section gives you options for selecting what type of object you want to look for and what species and genome assembly you're interested in. The defaults are for gene, rat, and the current assembly. In this case, the version 5.0 genome assembly. But Olga can also compile lists for human and mouse, for alternative genomic assemblies, for strains, and for other data types such as quantitative trait loci abbreviated as QTLs. The lower section shows the types of searches you can do. These depend on the data type and the species you have selected. Not all search options are available for all data types and species. For rat genes, there are four types of searches you can perform. Select ontology annotation to generate a list of objects annotated to a term in one of the ontologies used at RGD. Select genomic region to generate a list of genes based on the chromosome and the start and stop positions. Select QTL region to enter the symbol for a QTL and generate a list of genes that overlap that QTL's position in your selected assembly. Select symbol list to enter a list of gene symbols. Copy and paste your list of symbols separated by commas or with one symbol per line into the text box to search for those genes. We will begin with a search for genes using the ontology annotation option. For rat genes, there are seven options for types of ontology annotations by which to query. The disease, pathway, and mammalian phenotype ontologies, the three aspects of the gene ontology, which are the biological process, molecular function, and cellular component, and the chemical entities of biological interest, or KEBI vocabulary. For this example, we will start by clicking the link labeled Disease Ontology, but you can start with any of the seven options. To find your term of interest, you can enter a disease term such as hypertension. Notice that the tool brings up an autocomplete drop-down list of terms that match the letters you have typed. Clicking on one of these options places that term into the search box. Alternatively, you can click Browse Ontology Tree which will open up a pop-up window with a copy of RGD's Ontology Browser. You can browse by clicking on the word cardiovascular diseases in the right column. This term will move to the center panel and its child terms will appear in the right column. Continue to browse by clicking on vascular diseases and scroll in the right panel until you see the child term, hypertension. For a quick overview of the objects annotated to a term and its children, Click the orange box with the letter A in it. This will direct you to the RGD Ontology Report page. Use your browser's back button to return to the Ontology Browser in Olga, or right-click anywhere in the window and click back if the pop-up doesn't show a back button. When you locate the term you want, click the Select button to place that term in the search box. Click Continue. The result page is split into three sections. The first is the same as on the entry page, giving you the object type and the species or assembly selection menus. Changing these, such as changing gene to strain, causes a search for the same term to be done using the new criteria. In this case, we can see the strains annotated to hypertension. Olga is able to query the data in RGD for any of the three species contained there. Select gene once again. To change species or to use a different assembly, use the drop-down list labeled Select Species, Rat, Mouse, Human. Selecting Human Genome Assembly, GRCH38, substitutes the human genes annotated to hypertension for the rat genes in the result list. Information about the assembly is only used for searching by position. For example, searching for genes in a region or for genes that overlap a QTL. Looking at the result list for human genes, you'll note that, due to the rules for assigning nomenclature to genes, these gene symbols are all written in uppercase. Also note that there are a few more human genes in the list than there were rat genes. In some cases, a 
the human gene will not have an assigned rat and or mouse ortholog, or vice versa, so the numbers of genes assigned to a disease term will differ slightly across species. Going back to the Rat Genome Assembly, version 5.0, view the workbench area. This displays the list of rat genes annotated to the disease term hypertension. Since only a single query has been performed, this list is shown as both the input gene list and the result set. The numbers on your screen may differ from the numbers used in this tutorial due to weekly updates to functional annotations and genomic information in RGD. In the middle of the page, you are given two options for what to do next. You can do another search for rat genes to include in your analysis, or use the current list of genes for your analysis. We will add another gene list to our analysis. Clicking this link gives you the same options that you saw on the first screen. As an example, select QTL region and enter BP104 in the search box. When you click continue, the tool runs a query for all genes overlapping the position of the BP104 QTL on chromosome 11 and shows that gene list with the count of the number of genes returned by that query, in this case 328. The tool also gives you three options for how to combine the two lists of genes. One option is union, which will add the two lists together to give a result that includes all of the non-redundant genes from both lists. An intersection will show only the list of genes that appear in both lists. A subtraction will return all of the genes from the first list that do not appear in the second list. Selecting the intersection of the two lists results in eight genes which overlap BP104 and are themselves annotated to hypertension. Keep in mind again that your numbers may differ depending on any recent updated information in RGD. At this point, you again have the option of adding another gene list or analyzing the final gene result set. If you were to choose add another gene list and then decide you did not want to do that, the previous option button will bring you back to this page. We will add one more list to our workbench. Select add another gene list and then select ontology annotation. This time we will click on KEBI, which stands for chemical entities of biological interest. Our term of interest this time will be angiotensin receptor antagonist. Click continue. Select union. Be aware that because of the large numbers of annotations to some KEBI terms, if you select a term that is too general, you may get an error asking you to select a more specific term. Looking again at the workbench, above the list is a description of the searches that you have done so far. So, as seen on your screen, the tool first intersected the list for hypertension and BP104, then added the list for angiotensin receptor antagonist. Notice that each list and each gene symbol has a delete icon. You can remove one or more individual genes from a list or remove the entire list. Clicking the X to the left of the first gene of BP104 deletes that gene from the list. Use your internet browser back button to go back to the search that includes that gene. Between each pair of gene lists is a drop down menu of the options for combining them with the option that is currently being used showing. You can change any of the combinations by selecting a different combiner. For example, our original set of queries used intersect, then union. The result set has 284 genes in it. If instead we subtract the list for angiotensin receptor antagonist rather than adding it, the resulting list has 7 genes. If we intersect the angiotensin receptor antagonist, the resulting list has only 1 gene. Note that the lists automatically update as you make changes to the input. At any point, you can easily reproduce or share the search by copying the URL from your browser's address field. This URL contains all the information necessary to reproduce the sequences of the searches you have done. Once you have completed your searches, selecting Analyze Result List gives you options for doing further analysis of the genes or other objects in your result list. The options you are given depend on the type of objects you have in your result set and the species. This is because some of the tools only take certain types of data as their input. For rat genes, there are four options. You can send the gene list to the RGD gene annotator 
or GA tool, to retrieve and analyze the functional annotations for your genes. You can send the list of genes to the Variant Visualizer tool to obtain strain-specific insertions, deletions, and single nucleotide variants located within the genes in your list. You can open your gene list in the Genome Viewer, or GViewer, to get a genome-wide view of the locations of the genes in your list. The G viewer will display these lists as brown bars denoting their positions in the rat karyotype. You can download the list as an Excel spreadsheet to keep for your records or to use in other analysis tools. The resulting Excel file contains the RGD ID and symbol for each of the objects in your list. For objects that have genome positions, the chromosome, start position, stop position, and name of the genome assembly to which they refer, are also included. Select any of these four options to send your final result set to that tool. The analysis tool will open in a separate window or tab depending on how you have your browser set, making it simple to go back to Olga to make changes to your query, to download your result set, or to send the results to another tool for analysis. Finally, at any point in the query process, you can use the Reset button located at the top of the page and to the right of the Species Selection menu. This clears all previous searches and result lists from the tool, allowing you to start a new search from scratch. For more information on the GA tool, the Variant Visualizer, or the Genome Viewer tool, please visit the following links to view the video tutorials and help pages. For a more in-depth look at biomedical ontologies, what they are, and how they are used, please see the Introduction to Biomedical Ontologies video tutorial series. For more information about the Olga tool, or if you have any questions about Olga or about RGD in general, please contact us at the following link. Thank you for watching.